Acupuncture, massage, and cupping are typical external treatments in traditional Chinese medicine. They are Chinese culture widely spread in the West. At Tianjin First, the affiliated hospital of traditional Chinese medicine, the cultural inheritance for thousands of years has been fanning out around the globe. Kana is from Graves. He has been studying at this hospital for 10 months. He's fine. He's good at it. Traditional Chinese medicine uses the four methods of observation, osculation, affection, inquiry, and post diagnosis to treat each individual differently. To Pana, the concept is rather difficult to understand. Kind of information. It has a very extensive and complicated system. You must try to yourself a lot to see the changes. For example, Dependingly to your mood or dependingly to if you feel strong or not, then you check your pulse to understand what is happening and try to understand in other people, like family members, you know. <laughs> so I do a lot of acupuncture to my family members, to friends, I do to me. By contrast, the series of Chinese traditional medicine is much easier for Japanese student Masanori Kansaki, since he knows Chinese words. He has already been here for four years. I heard that the best Chinese acupuncture is in Tianjin, and the best doctors are in this hospital, such as Shi Xuemin. He is well known in Japan. For most of foreign students, acupuncture points are no more than the digital codings from 1 to 361. However, they have to not only memorize the words, but also know the corresponding Vasara reflection area for each name. Therefore, they can diagnose where the problem is. If we know the actual names for the points, we will understand more of it. Although there are so many names, but I'd love to learn them all. For foreign students, the best way to learn traditional Chinese medicine is to personally experience the subtle effect of Chinese massage. I feel very relaxed, and it, it feels like there's less tension in my in my back and in my neck. Now, traditional Chinese medicine clinics are not only for the Chinese. Many native Westerners also come to have acupuncture or massage to relieve pressure or to treat diseases. Slowly, people in the West began to accept the Chinese culture. In my country, Czech Republic, Traditional Chinese medicine is getting popular because that Western medicine cures the disease, while Chinese medicine heals the person. Now we have received 10,000 students from 80 countries and regions. The average is 500 year. Most of them are studying acupuncture and massage. These foreign students are doing a good job to inherit and spread the traditional Chinese medicine series. This Asian technique was handed down from generation to generation, and now from Tianjin, reaching out to the world. Sui Mingyuan, TJTV World.